This video shows the SP label assembly command found within the sync pack. This allows you to label assemblies in the Civil 3D drawing. In Civil 3D, if you want to see what the assembly is, you have to hover over the assembly, look in the AutoCAD properties, or create mText, and then create a field to the assembly name. With the sync pack, we can just run one command and it'll do it for us. To run the command, you can go to the Sync Pack 2 tab, the Alignments and Profiles panel, and from the drop down, select SP Label Assembly. When we start the command, we can type SC to get the settings. Here we can choose the location, either above or below the assembly. We can choose the X, Y offsets, and then we can select which layer we want the label to go on. Remember, you can use the sync packs layer tools to create new layers or import them from another drawing. Here we can select the text style and then we can also select the text height. Here we can have the option to label new assemblies automatically so when they get placed within the drawing they automatically get labeled. I can then press OK and then I can select the assembly marker I want labeled and then press enter and then it'll show there. If I zoom in, I can then see the value there. I can always delete the label, run the label assembly command again, and change my settings to have a larger text type. And then I can hit OK, and then select the assembly, and now it's labeled quite clearly. If you want to change the settings, of the label assembly command, you can always do it from the drop down and select the SP label assemblies and change the values here and then hit OK. Since I had it checked, when I create a new assembly and give it a name and then press OK, the sync pack will automatically add the label to the newly placed assembly. So it saves you a lot of time of having to manually label it in Civil 3D, and it makes it easier to find out what the particular assembly does. And this is the SP label assembly command found within the sync